Good afternoon, everybody. This is Matt with Snooze at Home. I'm very excited to be checking out another nasal snuff with you. And this is writing on the release of my new video on nasal snuff making. Be sure to check it out. This is a video that I'm very, very proud of. It goes over everything, including making English style snuff, making high dry toast alikes, making German, um, German style snuffs like Galecha Prisa. If you're excited about nasal snuff and you enjoy DIY, I can't encourage you enough to check out that video. Link is in the description in the... well, it's in the description. And there is also a link to my website where you can find a written version of that same video. Anyways, let's continue with today's nasal snuff. It is... From Toke, there's a garbage truck going by. Pardon that noise. This is... Auto Snuff Classic CM, or Classic Cherry Menthol. Auto is, of course, Toke's German-inspired line. They are a, a reproduction of recipes inspired by what I'm going to call German Continentals. And these are snuffs that are lightly oiled, so they have a little bit of um, mineral oil in them for moisture. They have a little bit of water content as well. They are typically all mentholated across the board. And they have very strong flavorings and a medium grind. Now, I've had Otto in the past. I don't believe I've had this particular one. Making this a true first impression. Toke's cans are almost all the same. I've shown it off in pretty much every video. But they have a little paper seal that keeps the snuff nice and fresh. I usually keep my snuff in the freezer for long-term storage, but I find that the paper seals on these do a really good job of keeping the stuff really nice. A little bit darker than Toke's standard offering, and this is what excites me about this line. This is, I believe, Toke's first attempt at breaking away from the more traditional sorts of snuffs. I did an interview with Roderick Laurie a very long time ago, when this channel first started, and it was when this line had first come out. We talked about it at length. The link is in the description. I look much younger and more pleasant, but um, it's still a really nice video to watch. The smell on this stuff is really cool. Let me describe the tin note here. Very juicy cherry with an obvious, like, amaretto benzaldehyde note, but there is something, like, juicier at the forefront of it. I smell menthol. I believe I also maybe smell eucalyptus. Menthol, camphor, and eucalyptus are the three standard medicated ingredients in a nasal snuff. Menthol being the most popular out of the variety. I, it's very, very hard for my nose to distinguish camphor alone, but menthol and eucalyptus usually a pretty easy thing to do. Without further ado, let's have a pinch. Pretty much no tobacco smell to the back of that, by the way. It's really just like juice and benzaldehyde cherry and uh, menthol. Cheers. But before we cheers... I do happen to sell these 3D printed snuff boxes, all made by me. Each of them gets checked, inspected, and I throw any ugly ones or ones that don't work away. The lids are all fit. If you prefer tap boxes like I do, these are really, really nice and really robust. Of course, this is all just to support the channel, so if you don't need one, let's get back to that pinch, shall we? Cheers. Oh, <laughs> holy smokes. Ah, very cold. Ah, hang on. Got some paper towel here. Ooh, look at that. This stuff is super mentholated. Ah. There is always a danger of these German-style snuffs ending up with a, a aroma of, like, Play-Doh or old wax. I didn't detect any in that pinch, but that was kind of, like, a non-starter. That was a really lazy pinch. This stuff is super mentholated. That's nuts. 
really comfortable to take this stuff to. It's very obviously greased, unlike Toke's other offerings. I know exactly what that's like. That is like snuffing up a a powdered halls. I don't know if they have halls mints in Europe. I have a lot of European viewers and South American viewers. Uh, I know they do have Ricola, and uh, yeah, they should have halls where you guys are. Fisherman's Friend, if they have a cherry variety of that. I've only had the licorice ones. That's another really, really mentholated sort of minty thing but this is exactly like snuffing up a cherry scented halls and there's a really really strong cooling sensation going around the front of my nose where the snuff touched it during the during the wiping <sighs> yeah i can feel it in my breath this stuff is this stuff is potent sits really comfortably in the nose. The nicotine on this is not extraordinary. I didn't really feel any kind of nicotine blast or head rush or anything like that, besides what I expect from Toke. But my goodness, this stuff is really, really mentholated. Ah, really nice. Now, the auto line is, of course, Comparing directly with a lot of Perschel's snuffs. I don't believe that Perschel manufactures a, a different nasal snuff with this flavor besides Ozona. I haven't had Ozona in a very, very long time, but I remember it being slightly drier and slightly finer than this and a little bit less heavy on the menthol. So if you are a fan of that snuff or any German style snuff, really, they all kind of share the same profile. Check this stuff out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Anyways, that's been all for the Snuff First Impressions for this week. I hope you'll join me next week. Remember to like and subscribe. And as always, cheers.